Hi, this is Ken Go with the Oregonian OregonLive.com, and here are my three takeaways from the final week of the regular season in the Pac-12. The Civil War, Oregon State, very impressive. Uh, I don't think the Beavers are a great team, but the way they put the hammer on Oregon in the, in the second half, particularly late third quarter and throughout the fourth quarter, was very impressive. The Beavers played with physicality, with strength, with determination. They were tough. I think they're everything that Gary Anderson wants his football team to be. Of course, the next step is for Oregon State to show that strength and determination and, above all, ability to finish and win games throughout the season. But that's next year's deal. Uh, this year, I think uh, winning the Civil War, snapping an eight-game losing streak against Oregon, and doing it the way the Beavers did it at home, uh, giving their fans a chance to celebrate on the field, those were all big deals for Oregon State. I think Gary Anderson's on the right track. I've had my doubts about him, to be honest, uh, the first two seasons, but um, those doubts are beginning to erode. I think he knows what he's doing. I think he has a road map and a, a, a place he wants to go, and, and I think he has a way to get there. Uh, a good way, good finish to the season, uh, double-digit victories over both Arizona and Oregon for, for Oregon State and Gary Anderson. Uh, situation in Oregon, not as good. Uh, Oregon coach Mark Helfrich had seemed to buy himself some breathing room by beating Utah a week earlier, but I don't think his performance in Research Stadium helped him at all. Uh, I thought Oregon made good halftime adjustments, came out, took a 10-point lead in the third quarter, and then, geez, the defense just couldn't hold up as Oregon State slugged its way down the field. Oregon's offense was on the sidelines, unable to do its thing. Um, I think when the offense finally got onto the field in the fourth quarter, the Ducks were pressing. Um, it's, it's not going to help Mark Helfrich keep his job. I don't know what Rob Mullins is thinking. I don't know why he would not announce a decision. Um, it's clear that that they're, they've at least are at least strongly considering replacing Helfrich, or else they wouldn't have. Uh, uh, lined up a search form, search firm to conduct a search. Um, it seems really unfair to Helfrich and his staff to make them wait until Mullins gets back from a college football playoff committee meeting to to know what their future is. It looks to me that, that if I can read the tea leaves correctly, that Oregon's decided to make a move to eat the $11.6 million it's going to cost to buy out Helfrich and whatever else additional uh, buyout costs are going to come for at least some of the staff and move on. I think it, it's time past time if that's the way the Ducks are going to go for Mullins to announce that. And third, uh, Washington, uh, I, I had the Huskies all along as the best team in the Pac-12 North. I think they proved that beyond a shadow of a doubt by just clobbering uh, Washington State Friday in Pullman. I think the Cougs were a little bit of a mirage. <clears throat> had they won that game, they would have uh, won the Pac-12 North title, but I think it was pretty clear, <clears throat> if you looked at things objectively, that the Cougars' resume just wasn't that strong going into the game. They confirmed that. I like Washington's chances to win the Pac-12 North and make the college football playoff. Uh, this is Ken Go, and these are my three takeaways from the final weekend of the Pac-12's regular season.